Lorum? Oh, hey, Annie. Thank you for those, man. That's who I was uh, playing Wasteland with, by the way. If anyone was wondering, the co op partner for second playthrough. Oh, feels bad, man. Was I, I was looking in your chat at least, right? Okay, yeah, I was. I have, I have three of my own windows open because people aren't looking right and hosted. Oh, it feels bad, man. I know how that be, though. Stay tuned. Okay, I have something to eat in the meantime. That sounds good. I might take a little break after this to get some food. <laughs> this is like some ridiculous length, like two hours. I got starved to death. That was a decently long session we has uh, had. Can you stream me as the proxy? You're stuck with me, man. I'm taking up because I'm fat. I can't need actual food though. I don't know we're gonna eat in a bit. Hmm. True. Literally. As long as you didn't do the goat, I don't, I don't give a fuck. No gut fuckers in our party. I'm staying tuned. Okay. So I'm playing for short content, man. It's suitable for all audiences. Ooh, B-roll. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow so quiet. Where are we? I'll turn it up a little bit for stream. Is the volume good for you guys? Seems quiet for me. Says the power that flows through this land. You do not fully understand it. But whatever comes, I will be ready. Okay. I do want to play that game. I ain't gonna PS5 to play it though. Horizon, that is. Okay. Surprised someone says that I have to get it because it has the little like kind of tank top things. What are they called? Like with the skinny strap? You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. Is this? How do we even know the girl will be among us? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Sergeant, they've summoned their icon. Icon? I picked a bloody mountain. Oh yeah, Our could be. Not relinquish their mother crystal easily. Oh, it's definitely got to be. This will be a bit of. Got to be sixteen. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. It's Come, not. Joshua. It's not your seven. Your father will be expecting it. Or something else Joshua entirely. Shield. I'm sworn to protect him. 
I think 16. I think 16. That could be something new, but I think it's Final Fantasy 16. You Did you not pledge your sword to our court? Uh, it's definitely Final Fantasy. 100%. What does it matter? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm. The more balls there, so it's, it's gotta be six or Final Fantasy 16. Looks good. Imperial Vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? It's the Archduke's son. Phoenix. Stop there! Ooh, fancy. fucking like Grand Theft Auto last time. This is a good opening to this event though. That game looked good like visually and it just like looked good like it'd be fun. It was a little weird to me at first that it was kind of like medieval but I think as it went on it was kind of like okay. Exclusive but also available on PC. Did it did say anything about the being available on PC? I didn't see that. Timed exclusive? Ugh, I hope not, man. It probably is, but I hope not. Also, the Mac can get played footage you see in this before part of the show and has been captured on the PlayStation 5 systems. Okay. As soon as I saw the Chocobo, it didn't quite... It looked like a little different, but... The, Sp the Spoodermans? These games look cool. It's not something that I personally want to play, though. Imagine there's a lot of people hyped for this, though. Yeah. Subway card. Check. You got the house key? Yeah, I got it. But it's a good game. It's not like they opened up and it's immediately a shit game. It's an another good game. Yeah, some of the, one of the old white-haired guys looks like a Final Fantasy character. Win. Like it when I first started looking at it, it was like, this looks like a square game, but I can't be sure if it's Final Fantasy. As soon as you saw the Morble or the, the big tentacle thing, I'm like, oh yeah, that's Final Fantasy. It's gonna be fine. Visuals on this look good. Final Fantasy 16 is a game I'm excited about if I can actually play it on PC. If it's a timed exclusive too, I hope it's not a year, man. Like three months, maybe, yeah, please? Which I know is not going to happen, but one, well, one can dream. You gonna vote for it's still hard to think of mom as a politician. She's been a teacher my whole life. Similar skill sets, right? Rallying people, educating them. I know this is uh, to show off the graphics, but... Hi, I'm Brian Horton, creative director at Insomniac Games. We're excited to show you this first look at gameplay from Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game, 
and we find Miles' new home, Harlem. Too much game anyhow. Yeah. Trouble brews Real while Miles' people. mom, Rio Morales, leads an election rally. A war between the devious energy corporation Roxxon and the underground. A high-tech criminal army led by the Tinkerer what a starts weird name. to break out. In this gameplay sequence, captured on PlayStation 5 hardware, the underground attacks Roxxon, sending the rally into chaos in a fight that spills onto the Braithwaite Bridge, where the underground tries to steal Roxxon's experimental energy source, New Form. Let's take a look. Okay, let's... Let's not shoot each other, all right? Those are usually the easy to easiest to hack or something, though. Or do homebrew stuff with. We're after the new form. Ignore everything else. If I had money to blow, I, I would consider getting the PS5. But. I don't like I I'd, pr I'd probably rather just get like a 3080 than get a PS5. I'm a PC guy, so what can I say? Get rid of him. Then grab as much as you can carry. Like I want it. I'm just not willing to pay 500 bucks or whatever it is for it. These hooded dudes remind me of something. I don't know what though. The bridge is coming down. I have to stop this. I mean, the game looks really good for a Spider-Man game. This looks pretty damn good. There was a day, once upon a time, where I would have been like, holy fuck, this game looks cool as fuck, I want this. People are trapped over there! I have to push past these guys! If it ain't broke, don't... It burn. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, yeah, okay. This game looks really good, but the, th the thing with a game like this is I kind of know what to expect. No. Arch, are you planning to get a PS5? Who, who is planning to get a PS5, like, at launch or shortly after? Nah. Definitely keep up with the news. Thank you, man. What if, what if they announced Xenoblade Chronicles 3 for the PS5 as an exclusive? I need something they can cross. I would do it. Oh, this classic scene again, where he holds the web together. Quick time events. Fun. how much money it's gonna cost to fix that bridge dude that's gonna be tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars oh 
with all those vehicles and insurance. I think this looks like a cool game. It just has something I'm interested in. Like, I don't see anything necessarily bad about the game. More just like, I don't want it because of a taste. Now it's too loud. I have to like constantly adjust the volume during the stream. Wizarding World Portkey Games Avalanche. What? Magic, both beautiful and powerful, binds together our long. Harry Pogchamp, is that what it is? That common bond I've never is the watched a Harry Potter movie or anything. It is time to add your own story to these hallowed halls. It's the leaked wizard game. And quite possibly, I saw no leak leak the future of the wizarding world. Every corridor, every portrait, every stone in this castle tells the story. Looks pretty cool. Some wizards who came before. Here you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. Like this is while your journey begins at Hogwarts, like a Harry Potter universe game that looks really good. Fantastic beasts. I feel like games like these don't get the kind of realistic graphics, high fidelity graphics treatment. Wow, that looks really good. Filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient Oh, is it? Long gone from this world. That strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Your potential is limitless. But what form will it take? Well, this game looks like it could be genuinely pretty cool, and I don't give a shit about like Harry Potter universe because I haven't seen anything about it or anything. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts. Hmm. I wonder if it's going to be an exclusive 2021. Hmm. Did they show a, a, a date for 16? I don't think so, right? That game looks pretty cool, though. I, I like the fantasy stuff, like with, with, with good graphics and stuff. I just it kind of like, is it story is it open world is it not open world is it a linear game Hi, it's like everyone. not enough i know about I'm that i'm dan vondrak creative director at raven one of our goals as developers Ooh. is to bring the game world to life unlike anything you've ever experienced and the playstation 5 is making that happen with the power of the new console we've been able to significantly enhance saw, the overall saw experience FIFA. From what you we'll see in the world, how we it feels in your hands, to what you hear around you. Call of Duty. Okay. In Black Ops Cold War, you will be transported to the year 1981. Uh, in the middle of, of one of the most dangerous times the world has ever known. Can you hear the, the excitement in the my Cold voice? War. The following is a portion of the first what campaign What is with all the Regan stuff all of a sudden? The name of a high value We're playing to the Iron Hostage Crisis. Wasteland, and that has but like true Re Ops Reagan style, worshippers. Reagan. Reagan. Take a look. And um, we got this now. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before? So it's it's a conspiracy, I'm telling you. The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. <laughs> Goddamn Republicans. I mean, <laughs> fool, it's a Call of Duty game, though, man. You you you're hard pressed to get me excited about a Call of Duty game. Didn't they want to charge seventy bucks for this game too? It's just a bad. Let's go find this shithead. All right. Graphics look good. Priorities to ideal. This is something if I could pay like ten or twenty bucks to play the single player. 
Sure, maybe 30 if I'm bored and don't have anything to play. But like, I don't give a shit about Call of Duty multiplayer anymore. If I had to rank what I'm most excited for, it, or if I, how I like them, Final Fantasy 16 is on the top, then the uh, Wizard game or Hogwarts, then Spider Man, then this. That's how it is so far. Jesus. That's gotta be a rush. Hold fire. We need a positive ID. That's our man. Take him out. That seemed. Oh, uh, I see. He missed. Is that scripted? Can you not actually aim and hit him? I don't like that, if so. Like, if it's gonna do that, I should have an NPC be the sniper to do it. Yeah, but he missed. That seems ill-advised. There's two vehicles and people from the plane all shooting them. But they don't hit them. Shit. We got our big car, we better get out our little car. Getting some sick air. Oh, he didn't land it though. That plane has been skidding a long time. Twenty twenty, huh? So that might be a launch title. We hope you enjoyed that sneak peek at the campaign for Black Ops Cold War. There are many more twists and turns along the way as you begin to unravel the truth, and we can't wait for you to play it soon. In addition to the story campaign, Cold War features the next generation of multiplayer online combat oh and boy. an all-new awesome zombies experience. Today, I have the special honor to announce on behalf of my friends at Treyarch Prince Money, that man. the PlayStation community doesn't have to wait to play multiplayer. Starting this Friday, PlayStation players will be able to play the multiplayer alpha exclusively on PlayStation 4. And for those of you that are watching at home on your PS4, you can preload the experience starting tomorrow. We can't wait to see you online Friday and through the weekend. Not Enjoy me. the rest of the show. Give me something good. More of that ridiculous B-roll for... All clear. Slow move. Chris, what the hell? The hell is this? Take him away. Are right, you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. This, as soon as you do all the Capcom, too. 
I've not played a Resident Evil, so. In life and in death, we give glory. The Level bell one, tolls for hard. us all. They're coming again. Oh yeah, a lot of people like them. I think I like I like watching them. Like I'll watch people stream them. Oh, just more along the lines like of the like the last one. It's like spooky first person game. Quit being so paranoid. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch and into the forest deep. Hmm. It's just a local tale. Oh, okay, nothing to worry about. Village. Very clever. If it's just looking, window shop away. Hmm. That's pretty cool looking. I'd rank that above the Spider-Man game and Call of Duty for sure. Haven't we seen this before? Whatever this game is, yeah, we've seen this game. You want out of a time loop? You gotta learn how it works. Black Reef is a puzzle. And each visionary is a different piece. Here's Igor. I am a respected scientist. I've done so many loops. I've learned. Yeah, I know this is a new trailer, game. but we've seen the game before. Like a while ago, I feel like. Like 2019 E3 or something. I like the enemy design. Wait, is this multiplayer? I my targets out one by one, more than I, can I don't remember. remember. But there is Even earlier, maybe. I go after one, <sighs> another lives. Because right now, over a year ago, though. Island away, it's like a different 15 minutes ago. Is throwing his nightly cannibal masquerade. Alexis Dorsey. Everybody shut up! This is my jam. Igor is a big fan, yet somehow he never makes it to the party. Something keeps him home. Gold, you there, buddy? Here's the invite to the party. And here's why Igor blew it off. He made some kind of scientific breakthrough that morning. I did it! I did it, it works! That he makes every morning. Unless I get there first. I feel like sometimes this game looks really good and then other times it doesn't. Like, same times its graphics look really good and other times it feels like it looks like Dishonored or something. Gameplay looks kind of Dishonored as well. to meet during throw times? Oh. Why would you do that? Uh oh. I don't know who to believe. A little help here. 
This isn't made by the Dishonored developers, is it? Definitely gets vibes of that. Eight targets on my list. Every one of them with grand plans for eternal life. To break the loop, I gotta break the rules. Clock's ticking. Mm -hmm. And you just ran out of time. You keep forgetting, Colt. I'm not like those other idiots. Only got one name on my list. Yours. Okay, yeah. It is. That makes sense. Hey, they actually gave a quarter. Yeah, it's definitely uh, Dishonored developers. I mean, you could kind of tell by the gameplay. I just wasn't 100% sure. I mean, they could just kind of copying the formula. Siren 2 was like a train wreck when it came out on PC. I think it eventually got fixed and ended up being a really good game, but I remember it's like performance was terrible or something. Oh boy. Back up. That day, if our positions were switched, would our Fates be different. DMC? Would I have your life? And oh. your mind? You're a demon. Special edition. Oh, he's a weep. I thought it was gonna be a whole new game, but so it's a bunch of new content. It looks fun to play. Wait, what? Is this a spoiler? I don't know the story. Why does he turn into him? Rest in peace. So confused. I've been officially spoiled, I think. I should really give this game another try, man. Oh, special edition? Yeah, it's not a completely new game. So I guess it's like kind of like an expansion? Digitally at launch, PS5. So is it coming to other platforms too, I wonder? Digitally though? It's at launch though, that's cool. They, we know that's a launch title. If you don't have it already, that's cool. Hey, Tux. Uh, five or six games, 30 minutes in. Or just very slightly under that. She means the event, I think, not the stream. Did those fugitive morons burn down their own hideout? It sounds idiotic, but that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Bad Guama for burning oh, down. Oh, uh, gotta get into that. Yeah, I haven't played Odd World. No, definitely Odd World. I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director of Odd World Soulstorm. And we're excited to bring you an all new exclusive trailer from the game. Here, our unlikely hero, Abe, finds himself fresh off the back of freeing his people from the nefarious Rupture Farms. He thinks the journey is over, but soon discovers it has only just begun. The stakes are higher, the threats are larger, the obstacles are more devious, and it's all made possible by the power of PlayStation 5. Enjoy. I feel like Oddworld has a pretty recognizable style, even if I haven't played it. Bad. Yeah. We are not 
letting that ape guy get away from us again. Because I have any arms. I don't know how I feel about this game. It looks like a side scrolling platformer. Why the hold up? I could go for a sandwich right well, now. We gotta get out of here. Come on, let's get out of here. My tummy's growling. I, I'm hot. Stop. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Oh no, I just like looking at a trailer, I'd have to see more to be interested in that. Because most of the time I'll try to play like a really good side scroller and it just I just get bored of it. Who is this? They're here with me. What is it? Please come out. Gregory, it's creepy. I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It won't happen again. It's been such a difficult day for all of us. Why don't you come out and we can play a game together? It won't happen again. Maybe. Yeah, I guess so. Looks a lot different this time, though. It was just a Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. Spoopy voice. <laughs> Security breach. Is there? Huh. I haven't seen shit for Five Nights at Freddy's. Maybe like a few clips of people getting shit in their pants, but that's about it. That has a unique style though, but I don't know. I don't think I would have guessed that one. PlayStation Studios. Is this... This... Nah, that's what I was thinking for a second, but I don't think so. It is? I don't know my PlayStation stuff. Blue point? Okay, blue... Okay. Oh yeah, once you see the armor... Looks really good. Looks really good. This looks so much better than all the other games. Whatever happened to Elden Ring? It looks yeah, it looks way better. Oh yeah, for sure. This looks like visually, this looks really good. Like compare, like especially if you're comparing it to like Dark Souls Three or something. This looks way better. I feel like the camera's a little different, maybe. RTX on. I appreciate that they're showing gameplay though. This game looks really fucking good visually. I mean, it's an enclosed hallway though. It's not hard to. <laughs> no, that's Skyrim. Elder Scrolls 6? Sure, but Skyrim? Nah, we've had enough Skyrim. If I want to do Skyrim, I'll do Skyrim VR or something. I wonder how the Targeted performs in VR. 
All right, we gonna watch Patrick do like 500 runs on this game or what? We know what you're gonna fall asleep to, Kate. It's gonna be this game and we're gonna be playing it like 50,000 times. Todd is still alive, you'll find a way. Oh, Skyrim on PS5, 100%. Died. Quick, someone redeem it. Ah, spider, no. Get it out of here. Good boy. Yo, this game's visuals. Pretty good. Spider, no thank you. I shall await thy return. Not gonna lie, that looks pretty pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty high on the list. <laughs> no, not yet. I'm sure we'll see it towards the end, but we're still waiting voice acted gameplay <laughs> yeah I I'm guessing 502 but oh are you fucking kidding me dude get this shit out of here It, it has to be in here. Oh, no, no kidding. We didn't need a trailer to know that. She's in the PlayStation Plus collection. Okay. But like I saw a logo there. A new PlayStation Plus benefit for PlayStation 5. Can you kill something that big? So it's showing PS4 and PS4 Pro footage. So I guess it's a bunch of games that you... Oh, we saw Fallout. Where's the Skyrim? So I guess these are all games you can play if you have PS Plus. My name is Kara. My name is Connor. I believe I'm gonna buy a PS5 just for Fortnite. You you joke, Tux, but you know there's some motherfuckers that are gonna do that. Cause it'll run at 120 frames or something. The last jank. Or maybe the Jank Guardian. After all we've been through. It's time. It's a lot of games. If this is just a part of the membership, I mean, that's cool. I wonder how much of these were already on it, though. Unless these are all new additions, in which case that's a lot. Um, they announced a bunch of new games for PlayStation Plus on PS5. So I guess on launch, if you have PlayStation Plus, you can play those on your PlayStation 5 immediately. Which is cool, I guess. Why does that suck? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I 
I mean, it's free. Is it price time? Are you gonna show us the console? So over the top. Oh, look at those curves. Five hundred and four hundred, yeah. Okay, yeah. So the Xbox thing's cheaper. It's twelfth, nineteenth. Okay, so twelfth and five hundred dollars, or four hundred if you want the digital version. So now you know. Thank you all for drive. joining us today and for being part of this amazing journey. It's your passion as fans of gaming that drives us to deliver a truly new generation of experiences on PS5. From everyone at PlayStation, we appreciate your continued support, and we look forward to you getting your hands on PS5 very soon. To close, That's pretty soon. let me leave you with one more quick look. Less than two months. Okay. So it better be something good. They open up with 15, if they're gonna do a surprise at the end, it should be something pretty good. The time draws near. Mm, I Runes. God of War. Skyrim, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ragnarok is coming. Can I vote Skyrim 2 2021? God of War, I feel? Santa Monica Studio, that's God of War Studio, right? Yeah, okay, so it's another God of War. Well, I haven't played it, but that's a really good game. I know that. I must be excited for people who are looking for it. I think that was a pretty decent event. Um, I'm glad they didn't overdo the price. Even if I'm not getting it, I mean, 500, 400 isn't too bad. Genshin Impact. They opened with 15, they ended with God of War. It'd have been cool to see more of God of War, though. It was mostly gameplay reveals and trailers. Most of the games are pretty good. PlayStation camera again. It's, it's, it's not a buy to play game, just something you can play. I think it comes out on PC on the 28th. I think that was a pretty decent event, though. The last one sucked. This one was pretty good, though. As I've opened it with Rockstar, they, uh, Grand Theft Auto V, a game that's everyone's played. They started with FF14. They showed a bunch of good games. Uh, the Spider-Man game was cool, I guess. They showed the Wizard game. They... Yeah, it was, it was a pretty good event. The problem that I would have if I wanted to get a PS5 is... A lot of these games aren't coming out with launch. I want to rewatch the trailer of that. 